Hi, Chris here. A while ago I made a video about my gimbal vlogging setup, but since then I have improved it and it has now less weight and the microphone is working more directional. Let me show you. The new setup still uses the Sony RX100 Mark 7 and the June Crane M2 together with the Rode Video Micro. But now I use the UURIC camera cage to mount the microphone next to the camera, so it always points in the same direction as the camera. I mounted it to the side of the camera, so it doesn't block the view on the screen in selfie mode. And it's easier to balance the whole setup on the gimbal. Another advantage of mounting it this way is that you can better reach the buttons on the top of the camera. The microphone cable I run in the front of the camera to the other side, so it's out of the way and I can flip up the screen. The whole setup, including the ND filter, now weighs 1133 grams, which is 280 grams lighter than my previous setup. This doesn't sound like much, but you will definitely notice it when you hold your arm stretched out in selfie mode. The setup is lighter now, because instead of using an external battery, I used this cable to power the camera directly from the Crane M2. I made a separate video just about the cable that I will link in the video description. To get access to the USB port on the camera for connecting the power cable, you have to mount the camera slightly above the perfect balancing point, but the motors of the gimbal are strong enough to handle this slight imbalance without a problem. Another advantage of this setup is that it's more compact now and therefore easier to fold up and store in a bag. If you want you can recharge the gimbal in your brakes from an external battery, but in most cases I think this will not be necessary, because as June says the Crane M2 gimbal has a runtime of up to 7 hours. This setup also gives you more flexibility to change between video and photo sessions. If you decide to pause with videos, and want to make a photo session, you can take the camera out of the cage and then mount it later back into the cage without rebalancing the gimbal. Ok, now let me show you some footage that I have shot with the setup.
So what do you think about this new setup? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, leave me a like. For more videos like this, subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.